The reason I came to Albany Medical Center is the focus on resident education. So when I was applying, I interviewed at a number of programs and got to see the way other places did it. I rotated at really prestigious institutions and I always felt that there was something lacking. And so when I came to Albany Medical Center, I felt the same strengths that I felt at all those other institutions. And the name was there, the, the teaching was there, the cases were here. But what stood out to me was that everyone here was a family. When we talk about resident life, it's a, it's a tough seven years. And Albany Medical Center has been really responsive to us as far as wellness goes. When you ask us about wellness, I think most of the residents feel very comfortable in approaching not just our own faculty, but the hospital faculty. It's designed in a way to really make your life comfortable so you can focus on what matters most, which is patient care and your education during the time you're here. There are a lot of reasons people choose Albany Medical Center for their neurosurgery residency. For me, the thing that stuck out the most was the feeling that the attendings were really invested in seeing me succeed. The learning environment felt like one that would be the best suited for me, and that's why I chose to come here. I started my residency in 2011, and I graduated in 2018, and that included an enfolded two-year endovascular fellowship, and then I started as an attending in 2018. One of the other benefits about our residency program is we have three enfolded CAST accredited fellowships, one in endovascular surgery, one in spine surgery, and one in functional neurosurgery. So the residents can graduate the seven-year program with an enfolded CAST accredited fellowship. Albany Med is a wonderful place to train. I honestly can't think of a better place to have done my residency, and there's nowhere else I would rather work. Albany Med has a, a perfect spot in training neurosurgeons because we take two a year over a seven year time period, so we get to know the residents very well. And our residents don't have to go to other institutions. We perform all those procedures here, and we have subspecialists that really reflect the entire uh, breadth of neurosurgeries. Here at Albany Med, we have a personalized neurosurgical residency program. It is a seven-year program where we really dedicate the time to understand what the resident needs and wants so that we can meet those needs. So a big city residency will have typically more volume in terms of the number of cases done per year, whereas here, our volume overall may not be higher than them, but the breadth of neurosurgery is reflected in our group so that every part of it is reflected in the residency training throughout the time. Most recently, we've had the capability of uh, comprehensive stroke center certification, level one trauma certification. Our first time board pass rate is 100%. The idea that the best way to learn is to teach is absolutely true. The residents keep us honest. We have a huge catchment area, so we're able to see issues that affect people in rural populations as well as urban populations. So residents truly get to um, learn about taking care of people from diverse backgrounds. Historically in neurosurgery, there's been a lack of diversity, and here on the faculty, we're lucky enough to have three out of ten neurosurgeons that are women. So if you train at Albany Med, you will come out a competent neurosurgeon. So there were a lot of things about the program at Albany Med um, that made me want to come here. Um, residency is really hard. Residency is going to be hard anywhere you go, and I think that it was important to me to be at a program where I felt supported, um, where I felt like the residents worked together as a team, and I felt like the attendings were available um, and willing to help. Um, and I feel like that's what I got here at Albany Med. Working with the staff here at Albany Med, um, the attendings, the residents, the nurses, um, it's a great experience. Everybody is generally very happy to come to work. We have a great working relationship. We always are looking out for each other, trying to do things to support each other. Um, we as residents work together to make sure that we can all get out of work on time to get home to our families, which is so important to us. And same with the attendings. If, if you need help, if you're afraid to do something, if you need backup, if you need some support, there's always somebody there to help you. As a junior resident, we're constantly doing uh, procedures uh, at the bedside and, and floors uh, between external ventricular drains, subdural drains, and then we also do a lot of uh, different procedures in the OR, whether it's spine, whether it's cranial pathologies, tumors, uh, aneurysms, so we get exposed to everything very early on in our training as well. You know, we use the latest technology in neuronavigation, we use Brain Lab, we use Medtronic's OR, we use the Stealth system, we have the latest in microscopes and, 
and then we have 3D anatomy lectures weekly uh, to try to really uh, hone in that anatomy before we bring it to the OR. Well, many of us have visited other places uh, in the country and I can say that uh, Albany Med is one of the busier uh, residencies and uh, the volume is, is just as high if not higher than a lot of other places in the country. So our residents will be very well prepared upon leaving this program to either enter into a fellowship or into private practice. And the one thing that they'll gain here is very individualized learning as far as uh, you know, very good hands-on experience in, in all levels of, of cases. But there's also a very close association with the research aspect. So our residents have very good opportunities to work with basic scientists in the medical school um, in the areas of uh, tumor oncology, pharmacokinetics, cell biology, stem cell. So there's a lot of very cool technology that they get exposed to from the research end, and then they can also bring that into the clinical uh, spectrum. Neurosurgery is all about judgment at the end. The technical part, doing the surgery is one aspect. Knowing when to take risk and when not to is another aspect. And my emphasis in training has always been about that decision making and how to improve our decision making on the timing of surgery for patients and what kind of surgery should be performed. And so I've taken a strong interest in understanding that better and in trying to work with the residents in a two-way street manner. They teach me, I teach them year in, year out to try to improve the way we're doing those things. And that's one thing I feel very proud of is that all the faculty who are here are engaged in residency education. They wouldn't choose being here if that wasn't a big part of why they're here. And so that reflects in the program and in the feedback that goes both ways between the residents and the faculty. To summarize the philosophy of the department, it would be the word carefully. Uh, we are careful with our attention to detail, we take care of each other, and we treat everyone within the department equally.